And now we're waiting for the performance of Denison Top 32. We know that qualifying is a lottery all the time. No matter whether you go well or badly, your opponent can be anyone. He can be more decorated, uh, more experienced or less experienced. And in the meanwhile, Midir Mokin from Starcross Stars IMO gets one of the no-go zones, but uh, works through the OZ1. And then he picks uh, OZ1, even though he's at the edge of the acceptable. And he misses the inner one. Whoa, that is a serious sin. But, well, okay, anyway, whatever. Now let's see the results of Mithir Mokin. Now this is 90. Now this is 90. So it means that he got that touch and go. Because otherwise he wouldn't get the 90. Some things in his front suspension for the car to be better controllable. So that you reduce the cost and your car gets less aggressive and you can make those smooth transitions. Here comes uh, Maxim Grossman on board Toyota Mark II. He's a leader of the qualifying this far. And he almost uh, got 90 points. He has a chance to do it now. He went very broadly through touch and go one. That is very good. And I think that this is going to be an advantage. He hardly touches the touch and go two. And then he had to use a handbrake. Oh, what an angle. But thankfully, he gets handle in it and he goes on the on the broad is already pressing the gas in the buffer zone. I see that those two points zero and Ilya Popov, congratulations for getting a top 32. Anton Kozlov is coming back on start car wheel racing. Probabka, Carbon Kevlar BMW E30 with a four cylinder engine. And this is a very good combination with Anton in the cockpit and he makes a little correction as he goes to touch and go one the transition and then he goes uh, picking the touch and goes and he goes in board he slows down with the angle bravo everything is done very carefully precisely according to the task Max Aktamov well this is the result of Anton Kaslov and there is an improvement it's now 92 points of the points and uh, Andreas Tapov is ready. And the next group, the champions group, let's call it this way, is almost ready because these are the leaders of the personal standings after the last season. But we need to see the attempt of Andreas Tapov, who represents Lukoil Racing Drift Team. We've got Grigory Gusev also, who hasn't come for his second round yet. And then there will be a little familiarization round. And then the monsters are in the burnout, preparing, preparing to start. Andrea Stapov is doing his second run. His first result was 89.5, half a point away from the 90. And now here comes the initiation, goes around the no-go zone. He takes uh, that should go one transition. Oh, that, yes, very good, though, could be broader. Then the first, the second, now go in and in and in, and this is not that bad. And the last touch and go very strictly along the line without any violations. And the last one looks very Tapov has an improvement, and this is 34, very good. And this is 93, yes, Bionni as we would like it to be. But that commitment, uh, that commitment of getting the maximum is really amazing. Maybe not everyone spent their mid-season as a product of Les Grigori Gusso, but he is still on the top of the protocol in its current edition. And each time that goes around the no-go zone, very carefully, very well goes to touch and go one. Very, very clearly fixes it. And now, oh, well, well, what's that? And he jumps off the track, but he comes back. He takes touch and go one. And the last outside clip, and yeah. And now this is the finish in. So many points for the style. It is 95 points. If he had a third or a fourth run, he would have made it even better. Except for the trip. This is 97.5. Because I think the judges liked this run more than Grigory Gusev's. But that deduction of two points played its role. Yevgeny Losev. Here you go. The first curve is left behind, and he almost got a no-go zone, but he got touch and go one exactly the way the task requires. No questions, and here the same. And he only picks the either touch and go, which he was also nails. And uh, now what you get is especially good at.
And Losev gets uh, 35 for the line, 96.5. Yes, and repeats the best points. So half a point more. A driver from Nahotka, champion of RDS Asia, Grigory Gusev, on his first run. And the chaser squats before the gear shift. I wonder how much that angle was. He goes around the no-go zone. That's a very good fair play for Twats. Then the run very broadly. Thank you, Grika, for that. He gets touch and go. And then he pulls a handbrake, presses the car into next touch and go, and he gets the OZ, the last transition, and at least the line of car as far as the suspension is concerned. But let's speak about it later. And this is 96.5. Wow, at last. This is a Losev just showed us. He just showed us how good he is, how competitive he is. We never doubt it, but there is always that little mystery when the driver comes on, a, on board a new car. I always love watching Charles driving his flanker since the very first round of flankers that he made. They are so good together. This driver of Starter Stars, I'm on this car. Yes, he takes the first O set. He smooths out the transition. He reaches touch and go three. Then he goes inside. So pretty. My God. Maybe a little bit draw to touch and go. And the last bit there. Oh, yeah. 35 for the line. And this looks like the new qualifying leader is 98. Charleston, isn't it? Once a year we come here near Moscow to see the Mirjaturin hit the 100 score. Oh, I think that his team is celebrating out there in the box. There's one guy who wants to argue, and that is Arkady Tserikratsov. I, uh, well, that is an amazing feeling. Arkady Petrovich Tserikratsov is playing with his steering wheel. He's getting touched in the one. He's running towards the one. And uh, touch and go too. He takes it very comfortably and he goes inside without breaking the uh, border of the track and the last second outside zone. And now, yes, there was. And yes, and no, minus two, minus two. Arkady Srigratsev is between the Miriatulian. Charles Eng from Star to Stars IMO. He's got 98 points. So, this is a new reference point for you. Do whatever you want with it now. Let's see what Damir, Damir Yatulen can show. 89 points was his first. That was a counter shift. That was crazy. He touched the no go zone. Thankfully, he didn't go inside it as he did in the previous run. Now he gets the first outside. Touch and go. Taken. Then another one. And he slides along the edge. Bravo. He slows down with the angle and he picks the inside zone. Then touch and go. Four. Check. Almost perfect. And then five. And this is it. Yes. Who told me it was impossible? Once again. Once again. 100, 100 points out of 100. Demir Dyatulin made it again.